Now, how do you decide, though, where you are relative to energy costs? Well, typically, you do an energy audit. Now, some companies do these energy audits themselves. Most companies are not qualified to do a really good energy audit, and these are the types of energy audits per ASHRAE, level one, two, and three, and preliminary. A good energy audit team can give you a lot of information from your utility bills. And if you're looking for an outside energy auditor and they come in and they say, we want one year of utility bills, go to somebody else. You need, they need really, and you do too, if you're, if you're doing an audit, a minimum of three years worth of bills. We usually like to see five because if you only do 12 months of bills and maybe it's just the previous 12 months, which is typically what you would look at, there may be a blip in that particular year. You may have had a super warm winter or a super cool summer or an unusually hot summer or an unusually cold winter, and those bills are going to be different than the previous years. So you need to know those kinds of things. A level one analysis is just what it says. It's a walk-through analysis. An energy auditor or an energy audit team would come in and they'd basically walk around your facility and look at what's going on and then make some suggestions that you might look for in a level two analysis. Level two analyses typically use data loggers to find out exactly how the equipment is operating, when it's operating, use infrared thermography, and, and we'll look at that in just a moment, to see exactly what's going on both with the equipment and with your building envelope, whether it be the insulation in the walls or leaks at doors or windows or what have you, the insulation in the ceiling, do you have insulation in the roof that's wet, for instance, and therefore the R value on that insulation goes down practically to nothing? Those are the kinds of things that are looked at in a good energy audit. So what do we look at? We look at all these things that I've just discussed, the building envelope, the lighting, the HVAC, the process water, domestic water, and the other things, too.